If you didn't get a chance to go to the CyberCab event in San Jose, uh, you have my deepest sympathy. It was truly wonderful. It was a very short notice sort of thing. I had to get right in the car and drive. I had to go. So this is a, a clip of the actual engineers talking about the actual engineering. It's only about eight minutes long, uh, but it covers as much as I was allowed to record. Uh, at that point, we were asked to turn off the cameras and the recording equipment, and I complied because as a guest of the event, I follow their rules. The only time I don't follow the rules is when I am uh, not a guest, is when I'm not invited. So lesson there is invite me more. I'm a good guy. You'll see. You'll see. But I've got a job to do. And uh, if I'm not going to get to do my work the way I need to do it, I'm going to find another way to get it done. So with that said, the engineers, uh, we did do some AI cleanup on the audio. So hopefully it is not too garbled or foreign, uh, but it was a bit of work and uh, came out pretty well. So if you uh, have any questions or need clarification, certainly ask. Don't forget also, today is the big Ask Me Anything About CyberCab. Uh, this will happen at noon 30 Pacific. So in just a few short hours, I will be live with Herbert at 11 a.m. At noon, I will be live with the answers to your questions and comments in the chat. And at uh, noon 30, we'll be doing the big CyberCab Ask Me Anything. It's going to be wild, you guys. I hope you get a chance to check it out. And thank you to everyone who has stepped up to support the channel. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of fun. I've only got one referral credit left, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will max out. This will be my first time maxing out. I hope you all enjoy your fun new toys. They're a lot of fun. You're going to love it. I do, uh, of course. Uh, even when it's not perfect, it is still by far the best car I've ever had. And uh, everyone else, you know, like and subscribe, do all that stuff. But why don't we just uh, end it there and get into the video. I'm Brian. Welcome to Future Asa. What do you think of the CyberCab? Great. Yeah, we've been working on this for quite a while. This team is uh, honestly very excited about the show. Very excited about it. Uh, and we... We obviously want to give you tonight with you know as much information as we could share. Uh, obviously, get you excited about the products, get you excited about you know FSD and B13, and uh, you know let you know kind of some of the cool stuff we've been working on with Epi. Uh, I'm going to introduce the team that I have here with me. Uh, you might know Wes. Wes is the uh, engineering lead uh, for the Cybertruck. Uh, so if you have. If you have questions about Cybertruck, we'll be able to answer that uh, for you tonight as well. Uh, he's also uh, director of vehicle tests, so there's a lot of good stuff going on that there with uh, Cybertruck and both on the CyberCab. So, uh, Victor here is the uh, lead program manager for CyberCab, so um, you know he'll have he'll answer a lot of questions uh, about the product and some of the product strategies we have going forward. Zihi is uh, one of our leads for body structures, so uh, it'll give you both an insight into the body, uh, unboxed, you know, some of our manufacturing methods and some of the cool things we're doing there. Uh, Alex, he's our master of doors. Doors are really cool, so if you have questions on doors, definitely uh, poke Alex. Uh, uh, and Mitchell is uh, our lead for vehicle integration on the program, so. Obviously, Tesla is very well down for uh, vertical integration of the systems as well as the integration of systems in the car. So, you know, he'll be able to, I was thinking, give you a tour of oh, some of that cool stuff we're doing. I am the engineering lead for CyberGal uh, and also handling the strategic launch of the product as well. So, I'll take as many questions as I can as well today. Uh, let's go over the car. Okay. All right. One of the questions we get constantly with this product is why is it two seats? Well, there's a couple of reasons why it's two seats. One is 82% of miles driven today are with two or fewer passengers. Uh, this product is meant to be of extreme efficiency, uh, and we work really hard to deliver that. Uh, and 
the efficiency isn't just on an energy consumption base. It's, it's on the concept of cleaning. It's also on the concept of reliability and service as well. The two seats unlocks a lot of opportunity aerodynamically. It also means we cut the park count of CyberCab down by a substantial margin. Um, we're going to be delivering a car that has roughly half the parts of fall three today. Uh, it also means when you need to clean the car as a ride share asset, you really don't have to worry about navigating multiple doors, multiple seats. Um, you really just have really what looks like a bench seat, easy to clean automatically. Uh, and you have very few pockets of space where you're going to have, you know, certain things that are obviously not going to be desirable uh, to maintain on a daily basis. Um, and you can kind of see the aerodynamic advantage by the track difference between the front and rear of the car. So you can see how the track is narrowed at the back. It really gives us a great aerodynamic shape. Uh, and it make, helps us obviously get to the efficiency targets that we want. And some of the team tonight will be able to talk more about the efficiency of the product with you. Uh, in addition to that, the car is obviously goes steering wheel, no pedals, which is really cool. This car runs on V13, which obviously is now going wide to uh, the larger public, at least it will be in the coming weeks, hopefully. Uh, some of you hopefully have access to that now. So this car is really running what we're putting out to the public today, which is great. Um, hey, car jet, Bob, how are these doors more big? These doors help you from multiple reasons. One is it allows for better ingress, egress, or the fact that we move the B pillar back. This seat actually is in a four rearward position rather than having the B pillar kind of more beside the seat. So you get in and out of the car in any position much easier. Uh, and also Alex can talk about how we've improved the doors from this product or from this version to future versions that also help with efficiency of the design as well as the doing C to to Z. Uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit as a, of the uh, of the two seater concept. Yeah, that's a little bit on the two seater concept. Um, on the product, with respect to the tires, the tires themselves are uh, you know built around efficiency, ride comfort. We want to have great beach, great experience in the car. You know, the larger diameter also helps. You know, bit with the rolling resistance that we're trying to get from the efficiency perspective. Uh, and obviously, the futuristic look is something that we're really going for with this product. We want it to look very different as it goes down the roads. Uh, on the trunk side of things, we have a massive trunk. The trunk is able to fit everything from multiple golf bags to uh, two full size carry ons, two full size check bags all at once. Um, you could. You can also fit you know, some amount of bicycles in there uh, as well to bring the size. Uh, but we're really putting a lot of emphasis on having a large trunk space that's easy to clean. Foldable wheelchairs will fit as well. Um, on the interior side, we have the largest screen that we'll ever put, or that we've put up to this point in our cars. Uh, this is gonna be great for all the multimedia experience that you have, whether it's, you know, you know, display from your phone to the screen or um, your games, media, with whatever you, whatever you're happy, but you, you want to do while you're obviously sitting in the car, having to drive you. Uh, the best part of this is you get the kind back, so you'll be able to utilize the screen, your phone, wherever you want, while the car takes you to the, uh, your, your destination. Pocket five, three. Uh, it's point of running screen. Uh, resolution is uh, same as uh, all pre today, all pre go. So I think, um, you know, there's a lot of other questions we should answer, but I want to obviously give the team an opportunity to meet with all of you. Uh, the car is really cool. Um, we're really focused on delivering a super efficient, really cool, fun, comfortable product. Uh, we'll kind of stop it there as far as like a brief intro. And uh, it's definitely to give you guys a chance to sit in the car today, which would be really cool. Uh, give you a chance to walk around the, inside the stanchions. Uh, just one note, the car is burnt out. We need to be careful with this. Definitely, please don't, obviously, don't do things that or a lot of gamers are probably without this if we can get working safe for folk. Be careful with the exterior. Be careful with the interior. Watch your touch around, but uh, just be sensitive to that. All right, thanks, everybody.